What is up guys, this is Jared Spalding here, and for this video, I'm going to be discussing how your silver coins most likely are not worth as much as you think. Now, if you're an expert on coins, then obviously you'd know, probably even better than me, what they're worth. But the majority of people out there really, you know, they maybe they inherited some silver coins from their grandfather or whatever. But chances are, if you're an average person who just happened to come across some silver, you think it's worth way more than it is. But we're going to do a little test, huh? Let's get all this crap out of the way. And we are, we are going to do is a simple little test. And I'm going to present you with several different coins and ask you what their value are. And I'm going to give you 10 seconds to answer. And you are going to, you know, basically tell me, or you're going to wait and see. I guess either you could pause the video if you need more time to think about the answer. But anyway, first coin this one and time starts now so I, I just thought you might need to see the date on the coin probably would help you uh, let me just tell you because this camera is really bad it's a 1942 Philadelphia mint mark coin because there's no mint mark which means it's Philadelphia but it's a 1942 Philadelphia mint mark half dollar and let's start the time now. So this coin's value is around eight dollars is usually what it'll go for. Its melt value is probably more like six, but you could probably sell this for eight for eight dollars to somebody. So the next coin I'm gonna be presenting you with is uh, Mercury that I am. And it's an older one, so even though it's kind of in bad shape, it is a 1920 Mercury Dime. So it's probably going to be worth a little something, right? Well, you tell me. It's a 1920, and I believe it to be a Philadelphia Mint Mark as well. There's definitely no Mint Mark as visible on the coin, but it might have just been worn off. But we'll say 1920 Philadelphia Mint Mark. And ready, set, let's begin now. So this coin had exceptionally high mintages for Mercury Dimes. You look at the, the 1919S and 1920D, which is coins right between, and 1919S has 8.8 .8 million minted, while the 1920D had 19 million minted, and this coin had 59 million minted. And so therefore, in that grade, it probably only graded G4, it's worth probably about $1.60. Even if it graded VG8, which I don't think it would, it's still a $1.60 coin. So. It is extremely high mintage compared to other Mercury Dimes. But let's just test you guys out with some a little bit of uh, higher grade coins. I guess we'll try, huh? You know, maybe rarity type of coins. So the first one I'm going to be asking you about is a pre pretty common coin. A really common coin, actually. It's a 1923 Peace Dollar. It looks to me like there's no mint mark on it. I believe it to be just a, you know, there is a mint mark. Is there? There's a little mark, but that might be on all of them. So I can't tell if there, if the mint mark is there. Then I can't read it. So I don't think that there is a mint mark on the coin. I'm pretty sure that it's nothing. Just a plain. So assuming it is again a Philadelphia mint. Uh, let's just see if you know what it's worth. Like I said, 1923 piece dollar. So, assuming, I mean, this coin is in really good shape. Uh, I do think it has some uh, scratches on it, maybe. But assuming this coin would grade an AU50, which I'd say is, is um pretty conservative grade. And this coin would be worth $25. Even in MS60, it would be worth only $28. So, really, either way, it's not much of a difference. But, you know, you might have thought that this coin was more valuable because it's so old and it looks so nice. But they had very high mintages, you know, double-digit million mintages on these types of coins. So, really, it's not quite as rare as you might think. And we're just going to test you with a few more coins. So, now I'm going to pull out a really... Um, 
different coin because it's going to be the first one that's graded. Let me swap it out for you guys. And it is this coin from 1921. G, uh, G6 Mercury Dime. Extremely low grade on the coin. Has some detail, but G6 is a really bad grade. It has like no rim or anything. But it is certified as authentic, so I'll give you guys 10, 10 seconds starting now. So you might be surprised to learn that this is actually the most valuable coin I've shown so far. It's probably a $35 to $40 coin in G6, because in G4 it's a $30 coin, and in VG8 it's a $45 coin. But it is a key date. It's one of the rarest in the series, maybe the rarest. Well, besides the 1921D, I believe, is the only one that's rarer than this. So definitely more valuable than one might expect. So the uh, I'd say the last coin this should be I'm going to be showing you guys is if you've watched my videos then you already know this coin really well but it's the uh, 1832 half dollar it's a very old coin and this one is definitely if you're thinking it's valuable then you're right it does have a lot of value to it but let me just give you guys 10 seconds so I'm not exactly sure what this coin would grade because I've looked at Photograve and it looks like it would grade like MS range, but I'm not sure about that because this would be an extremely valuable coin. But I'm going to go conservative and say that this coin is a solid AU50. And I think it is a solid AU50 coin at least because, I mean, you look at it, really it's got a lot of detail. It doesn't have any mint luster really left besides a little bit, but it has a lot of solid detail, especially on the front. So I'd say AU50 is a solid grade, and in AU50 the coin is a $250 coin, so... Even if it was EF40, it's still a $100 coin. And I can promise you it's higher than EF40. But a uh, very good coin. And yeah, that's basically it for this test. Just to see if you know what uh, your silver coins are worth. But I hope you did enjoy the video. And that's it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.